Yo, if you like roller coasters and amusement parks, then make sure to subscribe to this channel and hit the notification bell because I upload new videos just like this one every single week. Also, comment down below because I respond to every comment that I see. Anyways, enjoy the video. Peace. Oh, ow, bad idea. Yo, what is up, thrill seekers? Today, my dad and I are here at SeaWorld San Antonio. And in this video, I am going to be going over all of the safety measures that they are taking to protect their guests against COVID-19, also known as coronavirus. So yeah, we're going to head in and uh, yeah, roll the intro. Before we even get into the park, um, masks are required, so you have to wear your mask, and I believe you also have to on their roller coasters and really all thrill rides, other than water rides, from my understanding, but we'll see that when we get into the park. Um, the second thing is that because of limited capacity, you are going to need a reservation to get into the park. Um, you just go to something, I don't know, I'll put like the link or whatever in the description and also I'm assuming that it's like seaworld.com slash reserve, something simple like that. But uh, but yeah, you do need a reservation. So we got a reservation. Today is June 21st. So they did open on June uh, 19th. So just two days ago. So this should be pretty, pretty like new stuff. You know, they're probably still figuring it out, but we'll, we'll see the, uh, we'll see the measures. Now, something else that they do have is temperature checks, which are going to be taking place in this big white tent here. Now, we are here pretty early, so I wouldn't say that there's any sort of line for it, um, but from my understanding, it can get a line, and because of that, there are social distance markers on the ground right here, so that um, each group can stay at least six feet away from each other. So. Yeah, we are coming up on the building right now. Hello. Ah, that kind of worked. <laughs> They seem to be having little way to walk markers here and they have some some uh, some employees coming out to uh, to tell us all about all of these safety measures now in addition to SeaWorld their water park Aquatica is also open so both of them opened uh, like I said on Friday June 19th so it is today Sunday June 21st. So, yeah. Oh, wow. Sorry. Hi. Wow. That's awesome. They have signs out here to educate people on all of their park policies. The back of them are just blank. Right here is the entrance. Alrighty, so we are in the park. Um, just something to keep in mind is that you do need your ticket and reservation. They will scan both. So when you book your reservation, that is not a ticket into the park. Um, even though you do need a ticket to get a reservation, your reservation is not your ticket, if that makes sense. Basically in this video, just going to be showing you guys all of the social distancing markers and the queue lines. Um, the sanitization of the trains, all of that kind of stuff. Um, and if you do want to see an actual vlog from my day, like a full vlog, um, then you can check out, I'll put it right here. It's coming out next week. Um, so when it comes out, I'll put it right here in the corner. Um, but anyways, we're going to fill our drink cups and I'll get back to you guys once we see some safety measures. There seem to be these signs around the park 
basically just saying um, make sure that you are social distancing, wearing face coverings, all of that kind of stuff. And those are, like I said, plastered really all over the park. Alrighty, we are coming up on the entrance of Steel Eel right now. Let's see all of the social distancing measures that they're taking. Here we go, Steel Eel. Um, I'm assuming that they have some social distancing markers here in the queue lines, all of that kind of stuff, so yeah. I have spotted a wild Alec. Chill, guys, chill. Hold on, hold on, hold on. This is gonna be it. This is gonna be nice. Come on, I beg, I beg, I beg. First catch ever on Pokemon Go. One roll, two rolls, three rolls. Woo! Baby, our first ever capture. What is up? Hi, I'm Jay. Jay? Jay, like Jay. the letter J. Jay. Jay. Yeah, right. nice to meet you. Yeah, you too. Yeah. But yeah, like I suspected, social distancing markers here in the queue line and i believe that they are only doing every other row on this ride um from what i know here we go like i thought they would they are only loading every other row on the train so here it is here we go they are making people just sit on down over here but we can request a row so yeah let's get on Alrighty, so we just rode Steel Eel. Now the safety measures on there, they are doing every other row. With that, they're, um, they're basically doing the first and the last row of every car. So just not the, um, so just not the middle row. Uh, they do have social distancing in the queue and uh, masks are required on the ride as well. Mine did not fall off or even get close to falling off. So um, I think that I think that having your mask on the ride itself is completely fine, really. Um, it hasn't bothered me at all. So, yeah, that's awesome. Ah, they are sanitizing um, Steel Eel right now. So, they're sending a train without people on it because of that. So, I am now here in line for Texas Stingray. They are requiring people to put hand sanitizer on here in Texas Stingray as well, uh, so that the restraints are clean and they are also spacing out the rows right here so you can see these two rows are blocked off and we have that one and every other row all the way until the front so yeah gonna get a, an amazing ride on this ride such a great coaster let's do it in line for journey to atlantis you can see even more social distancing markers here on the ground um making people stay at six feet away from each other They do have some face covering relaxation zones. Um, I believe that there were a decent amount throughout the park, so you can just hop on in there if you're feeling hot, take off your face mask, um, and sit down on some of these, some of these little benches here with our, our sorry, picnic tables here with, with the, um, with the umbrellas on it. So that is super awesome. Here in the wave breaker line, there are yet more social distancing markers um same with the stairs as well um there are markers on the stairs so you can stand kind of on that stair and then no stairs until up there so yeah no one is making you put on hand sanitizer but it is here um as well as after you get off the ride oh they're sanitizing the trains right now see if i can get it under here just spraying them down, wiping them down, and then sending the empty train in order to drive. More social distancing here at Great White. I'm going to look to see if they are requiring hand sanitization at the front. Um, on Wavebreaker, they did not. On uh, Texas Stingray, they did. On Steel Heel, they did not. So it's kind of sporadic really depends on the ride but they all do have hand sanitization so that if you do want to then you can um but here we go let's see if see if you need to here 
They are not requiring it, but they do encourage it right over there. She has a sanitization backpack on right here. Trying to sanitize all the rides. Here we go. Spraying down the train after every single run. Alrighty, we are here in one of the 17 um, like relaxation zones where we're able to take off our masks and just sit down. Um, here it is. This one is right next to Steel Eel if you are looking for them. But yeah, took my mask off. Um, it's really nice just to feel the breeze on your face. Um, and then right over there is another relaxation zone. So, a whole bunch of relaxation zones. Like I said, I remember them saying about 17, which is pretty awesome. <laughs> oh yeah. Highly recommend these mask relaxation zones. Um, it just feels amazing to take your mask off, even if it's just for, you know, a couple minutes. I've been here for probably like a minute or two. Um, and it just feels so great. Super refreshing. Um, definitely highly recommend it. Um, but, uh, but we are going to head out. And really that's it for this video. Um, there's not really anything else for me to show you. So I'm going to get my full review on, you know, do I think this is safe? All of the safety measures, kind of an overview. Um, so let's go to that. Alrighty, so that is going to do it for our day here at SeaWorld. We are back in the car now. Now I just want to go over all of the safety measures that are in place here and basically give my thoughts on them. Did I think that, you know, it's safe to go here basically. Um, and really, in terms of the answer to that last question, 100% yes. Um, if you are super concerned, then there are a couple things that I would suggest not doing and I'll get into that in a second. Um, but in terms of the policies, the mass policy was um, very much enforced. You know, you heard ride operators many points um, during during my day here say, hey, make sure you keep your mask on. Hey, person in row, whatever, make sure to have your mask on. Not only like mask on, but also correctly, you know, because people can leave their nose out or something along those lines. Um, and that mask rule seems to be enforced as soon as you kind of pass security, basically, and it's enforced until you get past um, the exit um, from what it seems like. Yo, Future J popping in. I just forgot to say that, first of all, the mask didn't really bother me. Um, even though it was 97 degrees, which is extremely hot, um, but it definitely can get hotter. Um, the mask didn't really bother me at all. Of course, the hot air back on your face is not preferable, but the mask kind of just disappeared after like 30 minutes of wearing it. Um, like I really couldn't notice it anymore after a certain point, which was super awesome. Um, but those mask relaxation zones are amazing. So if you just want to sit down for a second, 100% go in there. Um, there are 17 around the park. There's one next to Steel Eel, one next to Journey to Atlantis, one right across from Wavebreaker. Um, and those were really the three main ones that I noticed. So for sure, stop in those, have a drink, um, eat some food, I don't know, just feel the nice cool air on your face. Um, but in terms of the masks, didn't really bother me. Anyways, let's get on back to the original review. Um, and then in terms of the reservations, super easy. Um, all you need to do is just show them your reservation on your phone or you can print them out. Um, and then they'll scan that and then scan your pass as well. Um, definitely like make sure that you have both of them, your reservation and your pass, because they need to scan both. Um, in terms of social distancing markers, there were a ton of them all throughout the park, um, which was good. And people were, for the most part, abiding by them. Um, there were some, sometimes, you know, people could get a little bit close, but, um, you know, as long as you are abiding by them, people seem to look down and be like, oh, sorry, you know, and then, um, and then walk walk back to the other social distancing marker just slightly behind them. Um, people were definitely, see, uh, people definitely seem to be wanting to keep their distance, at least for the most part. Um, and even if someone starts to walk close to you, um, especially on the pathways, the pathways are big enough where you can like, you know, swerve around or 
kind of put some distance between between you and that other party, which is super awesome. Um, there weren't really many people at the park in general, so it was super easy to keep your distance from any, uh, everyone, especially on the midways, um, and also in the coaster stations because there was pretty much no one in the coaster stations. Um, in terms of the coasters, they are doing separated rows, um, so every other row was filled, um, and then for the most part, there was uh, there were some where they skipped two rows just so that the front and the back um, were open. So, for example, on Texas Stingray, it was front, and then not second, third, not fourth, fifth, and then it was like not sixth or seventh, but then eighth because it was like the last row. I don't know if that's actually how many cars are on Texas Stingray. I feel like there's more, but that's my example. Um, so yeah, overall, social distancing was great. Um, the temperature checks were super easy. You just walk up to a table and they take your temperature and then you go on in. The cutoff is 100.4 from what I know. Um, and overall, it's pretty safe. The only thing that I would say don't do if you are scared of you know catching the virus and being exposed to it, um, I would say don't go on um, Journey to Atlantis just because that queue line, kind of the switchbacks before you get on, they are social distancing in terms of we were far away from the people in front of us, but um, they weren't really social distancing side to side, so there was someone like pretty much right next to us because like it was a pretty skinny aisle. Um, so. That's really the only thing where I was like, mm, this is kind of interesting. Shows are still going on, I'm assuming, with social distancing markers on the seats. Um, and yeah, overall, pretty safe park. 100% recommend coming here. Um, it's probably one of the safer activities that you can do, especially because it's outside. Um, there's a lot of safety measures and overall, it's great. They're sanitizing the trains um, pretty commonly. And overall, great park, great measures that they're taking, and yeah, that's gonna be it for this video, so thank you guys so much for watching. If you liked it, definitely hit the like button and subscribe because I upload new videos just like this one every week. Um, speaking of every week, next week my vlog from today is going to come out, so go check that out. Um, but anyways, I will see you guys all next time. Peace out.